How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. How to run Windows 11 on your new Mac. So M1 and M2 Macs. That's right. And keep in mind that this is a full version of Windows 11 as you can see right here. Fully working, fully functional. It's fast, it's speedy as you can see, extremely responsive and it's a full version of Windows 11 on your new M1 or M2 Mac. So without further ado, let me actually show you how you can do this step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to run Windows 11 on your Mac, you're gonna need a software and we're gonna use Parallels. And I'm pretty sure you've heard about Parallels before. It's a well-known, well-established, trustworthy app. And please keep in mind this video is not sponsored, okay? So as you can see here, run Windows on Mac. And what we're gonna do here is actually download the free trial. I'm gonna use the free trial in this video and I wanna explain this very briefly. You gotta understand that if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, so M1 or M2, there is no other way to run Windows 11 on your Mac but Parallels. That's your only option. And that's not me who's saying this. If you actually open up the Microsoft website, as you can see right here, options for using Windows 11 on Mac computers with M1 or M2, you actually have two options. But the first one is for businesses, enterprises, is an SAS service. I, you're not gonna want this one. It's super expensive, okay? But the other option is Parallels, and that's it. Microsoft themselves are saying those are the two options, okay? Parallels, desktop. So that's why we're gonna use Parallels. Let's go ahead here and download free trial. And of course, I'm gonna have this page as well in the description, so you can click there and open up this page just like mine. And you can go ahead and download your free trial and then download free trial once again. Please keep in mind that their free trial is a 14 day free trial. So you can test it out for two entire weeks, test it out, see if you like it, do everything as you wish. And then if you think this is for you, you can consider getting the license, okay? So go ahead here, click on the download button. I've done this a few times as you can see, open it up, let it do its thing. And here we have parallels. This is an icon. You can simply double click here as you can see and then open, all right? And then of course you're gonna accept. I'm gonna minimize this just to make her screen much cleaner and easier to use, close this. And then as you can see, it's gonna start to install Parallels Desktop. So it's gonna start to install the software, okay? Just the software first. Let it do its thing, it's just a few seconds as you can see. Now you can type in right here your Mac password. That's the login password, that one that you type it in when you boot up your computer. Then you're gonna hit enter, and then it's gonna initialize Parallels Desktop. Now, as you can see, you're gonna see Parallels Desktop starting. As I said, this is a step-by-step -step video. I'm gonna show you every single screen, and I'm gonna do this with you all the way, all right? So as you can see here, download and install Windows 11. And I love this process because of this. You don't have to download Windows 11 separately or anything like that. It's all straight through parallels. This is so easy. So install Windows 11, install Windows, right? And then it's gonna say here, creating, please wait. And all you have to do is literally wait. There is nothing else you need to do. It's gonna download Windows 11, the operating system itself. So as you can see, 3.99 gigs, and depending on your internet speed, it's gonna be a few minutes or maybe a few hours, of course, depending on how fast your internet is. So let's wait until it's done, and I'll be back. So as you can see, Windows is still installing, so this may take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. So it's still on, it's still doing its thing, Keep your PC plugged in and on, as you can see, it's almost there, let's keep waiting. And as I said, there's nothing you need to do and it, we're almost done, it was live, great. So, uh, installation complete, click to continue. As you can see, it's gonna start readjusting, okay? And then, okay, it's done. Move your cursor down and click here on accept. And then, as you can see, it's on, it's installed, guys we are already on Windows. So as you can see here, this is actually Microsoft Edge, okay, inside our Windows, and it says that the installation was successful, so you can go ahead here and close 
Microsoft Edge if you want to, and you'll see your desktop, as easy as that. And then you've got your folders, everything is here. And one thing I absolutely love about Parallels is because it's fully integrated. Take a look at this. If I open up, for example, here, my Files Explorer, take a look at this. I can see files that are on my Mac. For example, those files, those spreadsheets and PDF files, they're not on my Windows just because I just installed it. So those are on my Mac, but I can easily access any file that's on my Mac that's behind here, right? And open up on Windows. So it's fully integrated and this is so, so good. So that's it. That's how you install Windows 11 on Apple Silicon in 2023. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye bye guys.